Dating is actually super fun after divorce, just as it was before you got married. It's fun to kiss new people. <laughs> Dating after divorce. In this episode, we will discuss what it's like to tell someone you were married and divorced before you met them. I'm data journalist Mona Chalabi, and this is Full Dating Disclosure with Bumble. I was divorced at 23, and I disclosed that when I trust a person. I was divorced at 31, and I usually disclose that on or before the first date. I was separated at 43, and I usually disclose it within the first date or two. Around 33 to 43% of American marriages end in divorce. Even though same-sex marriage has been legalized, research organizations have actually been really slow to collect data on non-heterosexual marriages. So that means that we have little information on same-sex divorces. We're speaking with three women about their experiences dating after divorce, as well as their advice on sharing or receiving this kind of personal history. So can I ask, do you feel like your divorce has made you a better person to date? Oh yeah, definitely. It felt like my entire story at one point. And since then, it just feels like such a small part of my life. My frame has shifted from, I need to find the perfect partner to I need to find somebody who loves and respects me. Dating has just been very fun since, since that happened. Dating now, I'm not looking for the one. He's not gonna be Prince Charming. I'm not gonna be Cinderella. He's not gonna come and save me. My whole list of intentions is just way different because I'm much more giving, much more gracious, much more kind with people, with myself, with others, and I couldn't have done that had I not gone through this healing process. The median age for Americans' first marriage is 31 for men and 28 for women. Do you feel like there's any stigmas that are associated with divorce? People thinking that I was just so ready to jump into a serious relationship. It's a lot more about, does this person make me happy rather than do I see myself getting married to that person? What was the best thing to come out of your divorce? The best thing to come out of my divorce is probably the freedom to try to find someone who's more in line with what I'm looking for. Bumble is a resource to be able to kind of narrow down and get specific about who it is I'm looking for when I'm dating. There's a screening process that you're able to go through because you already know in your mind, hey, these are the bare minimums. You know, I'm living in a small population area right now and it just would not be possible for me to meet this many people. Oh yeah, I agree. Like I recently relocated to where I live now and as soon as I relocated, I was like, let's go. Swipe, 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 swipe. What would you say to someone who's maybe just re-entering the world of dating after a divorce and is worrying about it? Don't be afraid of your divorce divorce, see it as a source of empowerment. One thing that I think people will think is that their life is never going to be fun again and that something like dating is never going to happen or be fun again. But dating is actually super fun after divorce, just as it was before you got married. It's fun to be able to like go out with people again and have those experiences in a way that I once thought I would never be doing. It's also so very exciting to be given this chance to rediscover love in a new way. It's fun to kiss new people. <laughs> Do you have any advice for someone who is disclosing this information that they're divorced on a date? The key to doing that is developing trust with them and eventually once you have that trust with that person, that bit of information will not matter. Other people don't care as much as you think they do. It's important to recognize that the choices that you made, but for better or for worse, led you to where you are today. You shouldn't be afraid to tell people a basic fact about your life. What is your advice to someone who is on a date that has just heard their information, that the person sitting opposite them is a divorcee? I don't think that you should view divorce as a deal breaker necessarily, because the specifics of any given person's situation are so much more important than the sort of broad strokes of what you think they've been through. You should keep an open mind and you should listen to their story if and when they are ready to tell you because you never know what kind of person they are if you just shut them out. You just don't know the amazing person you're sitting in front of if you just judge them based upon this one life event. Just know that that's a period in someone's life and now they've got some experience and so it's actually, it could be a good thing. Thank you all so much for sharing your experiences with us today. It's been great to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was so much fun. Bye.